right, so here he is, the former Strike Force welterweight champion, Nick Diaz. Stars don't burn much brighter than this, DC. Good to see Nick back on the proving ground tonight. It's great to see Nick back in the octagon, a guy that every time he makes the walk, you know you are going to get a great fight. He's going to start going at you the moment the referee says fight, He's going to be talking. He'll be trying to slap you. He'll be hitting you with the jab. And if you make the mistake of just taking him down, Nick Diaz has a great jiu-jitsu game, unbelievable submission ability, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt with black belt boxing. Yep. That's Nick Diaz. Lifetime in the sport made his UFC debut all the way back at UFC 44 against Jeremy Jackson in 2004. Nick Diaz. As usual, ready to battle as he tries to take home the title. All right, so here's a longtime welterweight contender, Vicente Luque, out of Kilcliffe FC in South Florida. Also spent some time at Serrano BJJ under Daniel Evangelista in his native Brazil. But Vicente Luque is the total package, right? Certainly there have been ups and downs throughout his UFC career. But to realize and sustain this type of success at 170 pounds in the UFC for this long just speaks to his greatness. And a lot of people believe one more signature win could find Vicente Luque in his first undisputed UFC welterweight title fight. Tonight, though, should go a long way towards proving just how good Vicente Luque can be. Vicente Luque. And that means we are set for our main event of the evening. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Silent, outstanding mix of knockouts and submissions. He likes to strike. He said as much midweek. He believes this matchup will be favorable for him in terms of the striking. And always lean on that position. Oh, That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you end the night, that one landed right on the spot. Oh, they're trying huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, my goodness. Oh, just opening up on him now. Inside leg kick. Frantic pace early on to this one. Well, that overhand big weapon for him throughout his career, it's been there all night. Look for him to go back to it here. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. Throws the teep now and it lands. Oh, beautiful jab there by Diaz. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, 
Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dog. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh, nice. Nice shot there by the champ. 90 seconds to go in the round. Some damage being doled out, and now some swelling upstairs on his apartment. He's not moving his head effectively. He's trying to be face first. Look, you don't have to prove how tough you are. You gotta move your head, be active. Don't be reactive in your defenses. He's gotta be careful here. Get the bone here. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yup. Oh, real good submission attempt now. That one looks tight. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off his back, DC. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? You ready? Round two on the road. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. in the clinch there is good by Diaz. Ooh. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Great commitment to the kicking game. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get it. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh, big left hook there. Luke's eye is going into swell shot. Diaz covering up. Oh, oh my goodness, what a right hand. He sets up that leg kick beautifully. Well, he is clearly... Oh, 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 well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You gotta go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's ripe for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> Both fighters throwing heat now. That's good defense to block that punch. All right, so perhaps he's gonna have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's gotta pay attention now before it gets worse. 
Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so the cut man attends to the fighter who has essentially been rendered a one-eyed fighter at this point in time. Some replays from the previous round. No defensive intent, no defensive intensity. No attention to his defense, and this costing him. Now he's dealing with a massive cut over his eye, and that's going to make it hard for him to Ready see. Fight. He's got to change Ready. something, man. He's got to. Let's do it. Round three of a possible five. Close guard. He passes the half. Great job landing the strike from his back. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Nice positional control here. Oh, great ground strike there. And now. Blood is a factor. Three minutes to go in round three. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Oh. In the half guard. Vicente Luque getting absolutely worked from the top here on the wrong end of nearly all of these ground and pound strikes. Great job finding his shots from the top position. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Diaz gets back up here. So a wise decision by him to continue to attack that cut. And it's getting wider by the minute. It's getting wider by the minute. This guy is, is, is a fantastic fighter, and he's as smart as they come. So the moment that cut opened up, you knew that that would become his focus, and we are seeing it. This guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Huge knee lands from the coach. He does a great job getting out of that clutch position. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, there's the horn. The round is over. The fight is not, though, despite the two knockdowns there in that round. Incredible toughness on one side, incredible power on the other. Incredible power by this fighter, but also a very good patience and a very good approach to finding those kill shots. He has not been able to get his opponent out of there just yet, but frustration cannot set in because when you're fighting someone this good, this tough, it only takes them an opportunity to finish you. You ready to fight? You ready? Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five, five minutes. They are somehow his opponent stayed up right. I mean, he's still on his feet, but it's not up by much. 
Well, why fix what's not broken? Why not go right back to that overhand here again? Low kick lands flush. They're so evenly matched, they're going tit for tat. Body shot there. I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. The decision is inside the octagon. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 52 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Vicente the Silent Assassin. Luke Hay. So the celebration is officially on after a successful UFC welterweight title defense here tonight. He will go out the same way he came in.